So welcome to this episode of Love Seven, and we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is get rid of this thing. And what it is, it's a sliding partition that's supposed to give you some privacy in your bedroom portion of your Airstream. And as you can see, it's this ugly vinyl, and it really doesn't run on this track very well. And the track runs all the way around here, and we've also had some damage to the track at some point. We think perhaps when the closet fell off the wall that one time. Um, but the impetus for this is the fact that after our last trip, this piece came out. See, it's supposed to go up into the track and stuff. So it sort of fits into this wall here and secures with a snap. And it actually has a point here where it hooks on this other side. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take a measurement from floor to ceiling and see how tall this thing is. Let's start. And hopefully this will work without assistance. And we're looking at about 77 and a half inches. The uh, curtain panels that I picked up are 84 inches, so those should work just fine with just a little bit of hemming. So the second step we're gonna do is take this off the track so that we can measure these little guys. It's interesting, I think they're different sizes. I think this one's bigger and the other ones are smaller, so we'll see what works. Okay, so we've cut off one of the attachment points and we're gonna go ahead and measure that so that Cindy can order some new ones to attach to her fabric. To do that, we're gonna use my calipers. Make sure I get an accurate reading. It measures things very accurately. And if you've not checked out my tools that I use in my RV, this is definitely one of them. And ooh, look, a snack. Oh wait, it says do not eat. Crap. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and measure this up. And it's good for doing what? Measuring small things? or measuring... measuring things accurately in a variety of ways. So you can measure the OD of something here. You can measure the ID of a hole using this section of it. So you could use the other, the pointy section to measure the track length. Exactly. The, the inside of the track. Yep. So I'm looking at 0.430-ish. See that there? That actually sounds like the size of one of the ones that I was looking at. Oh, does it stay there? Well, it stays there until I move the little wheelie thingy. Oh, okay. So there you have it. We'll go ahead and check out to see if Cindy can find one that works. Yep. Sounds good. The next step in our project here is going to be to remove this accordion uh, door here. So I think the easiest way to do this is to pull it through where it's broken right there and just sort of slide it off the truck, right? That sounds the plan. Let's see how that works. This thing is garbage. Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't want to move at all. Of course, maybe. It's working though. Oh, good. Okay, let me bend this a little bit as we take it down. That might help. And of course, it's going to be attached inside somewhere. Is it seriously? This may be the shortest project ever. Oh my gosh. I never even thought of that. Oh, it's got rivets. Uh, yep, it's got rivets. One, two, three, four. Of all the screws that have come loose in this Airstream, these are probably gonna be the tightest. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that the way? Yep. I, oh, can you actually turn it? I don't know. I'm either turning it or stripping it horribly. Did you want to look in and see if you're doing anything? Why, why make things easy on myself? <laughs> I'm wondering why you're not using like a like your uh, power screwdriver. Because you need to be able to feel. Okay. I didn't think that was a dumb question. Oh, that's not a dumb question. It appears to be coming up. What will happen though is I'll get two of them out and the third one I won't be able to get out. So why don't you go to the bottom one next? 
Maybe we should add some WD-40. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's one. Oh, let me see what it looks like. Looks like a screw. I know, but I want to see if it looks like, you know, this looks like almost like every other screw. Some stuff you can put on it like WD-40 no well not that but something that can loosen a tight screw I mean of all the screws that have come loose in this thing you'd think that these might have been a little looser but they're probably the once <coughs> but the screw we wanted to come out it, it's tighter than anything right so what are we trying now now we're trying this thing more power or is it just more torque Get a little bit more torque because you can use both hands really. That seems to have been a good idea. It was actually a pretty good idea. Problem was I couldn't get my favorite offset screwdriver in there because of the but that seems to have worked. One more. Okay. Is that working now? Seems to be. So with good rule of thumb, if you can't get a small screwdriver around it, something with a bigger handle might work. Still wasn't easy though, huh? We had to cut the camera so that I could use some bad words. <laughs> if you're wondering about the lack of continuity. <laughs> words not suitable for all, all audiences. Right. I don't want YouTube to put me in the time out. And all right. Oh, it's out. Is it out? Well, it's just all. If you look in here, oh. I was hoping to get in, be able to get in there easily. Let me see. What's it look like? Oh, it's only like a little. It's like three inches wide, as wide as this the right. the the thing was, huh? Maybe we can still get a cut at the bottom there, huh? so we can slide some stuff in there. Huh? But it's out. It is out! Yay! All right, so now we've taken it out. I was curious as to see how heavy this would be so that we know how much weight we're removing from the Airstream. So I'm gonna step on the scale. We'll see the difference. All right, it's looking about six and a half pounds. All right, so that's not bad. That's not Every bad. Every little pound saved is a pound saved. Right. Before we hang these up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the hooks and where we got the curtain panels. This was not a major investment. I got these curtain panels at Walmart. They were $4.97 a piece, I think. Uh, they're sheer, 100% polyester. I washed them before I did the hem on them and they washed up very nicely. They iron up very nicely. And the one important fact I want to say about these is the package said that they were 84 inches in length and as I do I actually did a physical measurement of them before I hemmed them and it came out to be 83 and a half inches so a half an inch difference is pretty significant when you're hemming curtains 
And so I took that into account when I hemmed them and I think, because I did a test fit of the one before I did the second one, they will fit perfectly. So I want to talk a little bit about the hooks. These are little button sliders. They are round to go through the curtain track and they have like a little round hole there. And the second piece are these clips that have a hook on the end. And all we did was put them together and squeeze them closed with this little tool. And so we're gonna hang these up with 12 of these little clips. I got the silver clips at Amazon. The link will be below. I got these little things from Sailrite, just because I think that exactly the same thing as I was looking at on Amazon, but they were cheaper at Sailrite for the same amount, for the same amount of product. So there you have it. So this is what it looks like fully installed and as you can see it almost it comes right down to the floor and doesn't quite hit it so I think that's just about perfect it's 75 inches in length once it was hemmed and so it's supposed to give you a little bit more privacy I thought two panels would be less sheer so as you can see I don't know if you can see me from the other side or not but we'll see uh, how that turns out I think a little bit all right so that was with its fully open position and all you do to close it in its stow position and just get these little sliders. I am a short person. As you see with the silicon they really kind of want to slide on their own now which is nice. So in its stow position it could actually fit all the way in this little curtain cubby here if you want it to do that way and it hooks with this little plastic clip which connected the other one but if you wanted something a little bit more dressy or decorative you could probably pull these out a little bit and do something like that that was pretty sweet I think that's pretty nice, right? Yeah, it is. And let's see, what else can we do? That song when I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom after a glass or two of wine, whether I catch my forehead in that. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we won't have it so poofy at night. Yeah, I think we need to depoof at night. Depoof at night. Oops, wrong side. So I'll, the other way I was thinking of doing it, and we'll see if this works out or not, was. I was wondering if I could twist these panels together for a little bit of a decorative effect. Let's see. Or maybe something like that. It's endless what you could do. I mean, you could just sort of play with it and just see what arrangements you could do and but the two panels really provide a lot of uh functionality yeah i think so and creativity yeah you could just play around with it and see if you want to what, what parts you want to emphasize what colors do you want to emphasize stuff like that yeah. all right so there you have it a do-it-yourself project that you can do to improve your partition in your rv and it's not very expensive either i think total cost and parts was maybe twenty dollars yeah, or less so. or less yeah so hey, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've done this in your Airstream and how it turned out. Yep, because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday, except for last week when we missed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.